Hello, everyone. Today, we are learning the content at the reducer assembly, disassembly, and testing. The retarder has many functions in the car. The first is to reduce the speed and increase the torque. The output power of the drive motor is fixed, and after the reducer, the speed can be reduced so as to obtain greater torque which can also obtain greater driving force. In addition, after the reducer, the vehicle can better adapt to the road conditions, and the speed of the car can be changed in the curve, downhill and uphill places, so as to ensure that the car has sufficient power to pass. Let's learn how to disassemble and test the reducer assembly. Training equipment, electric drive assembly installation and maintenance work platform, training tools, a set of commonly used tools, depth ruler, height ruler, etc. First of all, the first step is to separate the reducer housing. The specific operation steps are as follows. 1. Remove the reducer housing fixing bolt. 2. Reserve two bolts. Turn the reducer assembly over. Remove the reserved box. To separate the shell according to the point specified in the maintenance manual. Three, turn the inspection gear assembly non-stop. After separating the reducer housing, remove the gear group of the reducer. The specific operation steps are as follows. 1. Take off the odometer drive wheel. 2. Remove the differential assembly. 3. Remove the intermediate shaft assembly. 4. Remove the input shaft assembly. Next is to remove the reducer oil seal. The specific steps are as follows. 1. Remove the oil seal at the input shaft of the reducer. 2. Reshell oil seal. 3. Front shell oil seal. Finally, the auxiliary parts of the reducer need to be removed. The specific steps are as follows. 1. Remove the odometer drive wheel. 2. Remove the oil baffle. 3. Remove the air vent plug. 4. Remove the oil guide groove. After all reducer components are removed, the front housing of the reducer needs to be cleaned. 
free sale. Here, group. Auxiliary parts. After the cleaning is complete, we need to check the reducer components. The specific operation steps are as follows. 1. Check whether the front shell of the reducer has cracks, grooves, and residual glue. 2. Check whether the bearing of the front housing of the reducer is stuck and cracked. 3. Check the rear shell of the reducer for cracks, grooves, and residual glue. Four, check whether the bearing of the rear housing of the reducer is stuck and cracked. Five, check the differential assembly. Check the intermediate shaft assembly and check the input shaft assembly for cracks, missing teeth and damage. Six, check whether the odometer driving wheel is worn and cracked. Seven, check the odometer driving wheel wear, cracks. Eight, check whether the oil baffle is deformed or damaged. Nine, check whether the ventilation plug is blocked or damaged. Ten, check whether the oil guide groove is deformed or damaged. Next, we begin to install the reducer oil seal. The specific steps are as follows. 1. Check and install the oil seal at the front housing of the reducer. 2. Check and install the oil seal of the reducer input shaft. 3. Check and install the oil seal at the rear housing of the reducer. 4. Check whether the oil seal installation at the reducer is damaged. Note, lubricate the oil seal mounting surface. Select suitable tools or equipment to install oil seals. After the oil seal of the reducer is installed, other auxiliary parts are installed. The specific steps are as follows. 1. Install the oil guide groove. 2. Install the ventilation plug, torque, 10 north M. 3. Install oil baffle, torque, 10 north M. 4. Install the odometer driving wheel, torque, 10 north M. 
Next, we need to measure the differential, intermediate shaft and input shaft free clearance respectively. The specific steps are as follows. 1. Clean the measuring plane and measuring block. 2. Clean the datum surface and zero the measuring tool's depth, height, vernier caliper. 3. Measure the thickness of the gauge block. 4. Measure the depth of the three points at the front housing combination surface and the differential bearing face. 5. Measure the depth of the three points of the front housing joint surface and the bearing face of the intermediate shaft. 6. Measure the depth of the three points of the front housing joint surface and the bearing face of the input shaft. 5. Install input pumping and intermediate pumping components. 6. Measure the height of the rear housing joint surface and the bearing face of the input shaft. 7. Measure the height of the rear housing joint surface and the working face of the intermediate shaft bearing. 8. Remove the input pumping and intermediate pumping components. 9. Install differential assembly. 10. Measure the height of the rear housing joint surface and the differential bearing face. After obtaining the relevant data, we need to calculate and judge whether the free gap is normal according to the requirements and the specific results are shown in the figure. After measuring the relevant data and drawing a conclusion, we need to install the reducer gear group. The specific operation steps are as follows. 1. Remove the differential assembly. 2. Install input shaft assembly. 3. Install intermediate shaft assembly. 4. Install differential assembly. 5. Install the odometer driving wheel. 6. Check that the gear group of the reducer runs without stock. Finally, we need to assemble the reducer housing. The specific operation steps are as follows. 1. Check the positioning pin before assembling the housing. 2. Turn the reducer to the horizontal state. 3. Install the front housing of the reducer. For check whether the oil seal of the front shell of the reducer is damaged. 5. Diagonal pre-tightening reducer shell fixing bolt. 5. Flip to level and secure all bolts. 
Six tighten the bolts of the reducer shell according to the specified torque. Torque two for an amp. Seven check whether the reducer housing is installed in place. At this point, the reducer assembly, disassembly, and testing operation is complete. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it will help you in your daily work.